Hey guys, so these are uh, the helpful hints for the case studies for chapter 14 um, for the OT63 course. So the first case study is chapter two, or uh, excuse me, case two, because I think you're assigned the even cases for this chapter. So for case two, uh, it looks like you're going to have two codes. I'll put that up there in parentheses. Um, and uh, those two codes after reading through this, so I was explaining this to um, a classmate a little bit earlier, you are going to end up looking up the Hang on just a second, let me reread this. So his admitting were unstable angina and atrium and AFib. So he had an infarction and then the hypertension. Okay, so you're going to code those um, discharge diagnoses. And so we are going to look up um, for the first one, infarct. So I'm going to write these up here. And then myocardium. And for the second code, let's look up hypertension. Um, we talked about this in class today. It's going to be the I-10 code. It's not specified here. Um, so, um, but when you look it up in your index, um, excuse me, in your tabular list, there's a whole bunch of includes notes there. So you're going to want to look that up, but I'm pretty sure this is going to end up being I-10. Okay, so that's it for case two. So for case four, let's see what case four is about. Physician's office note. History of congestive heart failure, microvascular spasms on physical exam. He has mild ascites, tachycardia, peripheral edema. Those are all noted. Previous diagnostic testing was review, which confirmed cardiomyopathy. So that's what you're going to look up here. So it's going to be one code, and you're going to look up the cardiomyopathy. So that's what you're going to do there. Um, and for K6, flip this over here. K6 is a discharge note. So 85-year-old male patient. Final diagnosis, stage 4 chronic renal disease accompanied by congestive heart failure due to hypertension. Now, you need to remember that we were talking about this in class earlier. There are notes that um, those uh, coding guidelines that need to be reviewed before assigning these codes. Um, so follow up with him at the nursing facility 10 days sooner or sooner if needed. Okay, so here we go for number six. There's going to end up being several codes here, I think. So let me reread this one more time. So chronic renal disease, that's going to be heart failure, hypertension. So he's going to have three codes. So he's going to have one, two, three codes. So you're going to look up hypertension. Um, and then cardio renal. Uh, 
I don't know if it'll say disease or not, but just uh, cardio renal would be the main thing to look up there. So cardio renal. Um, and then with heart failure. Now it might not take you all of this to find it, but I'm going to give you as much as possible. So with heart failure, uh, stage, it'll be staged and it doesn't have a um, stage here. So we'll go, oh yeah, it does stage. Okay. Okay, so that's what you're going to look up for the um, hypertension for the congestive heart failure. Let's look up failure and then we will look up heart and then congestive. And then lastly, we're going to look up that kidney disease, and that is going to be disease. Um, it could be diseased with a D on the end. I think disease will probably work, but if you can't find it with just disease, then look it up with diseased also. And then um, kidney. Did it say it was chronic or anything? Yeah, chronic. Chronic. Um, and then stage four. Okay, so number six, you're gonna have three three codes for um, six. Okay. Case eight, we have uh, it's a consult note for an inpatient. And we have, um, let's see. Previous history of an MI, that's going to be important. No previous bypass surgery. She has unstable angina. She needs a cardiac cath. That's PCS coding, so we don't care about that right now. Um, like your deaf husband, daughter, come speak with me for your discussion. Okay, so she has coronary artery disease, previous uh, myocardial infarction, so previous heart attack, and she has angina. So the, you're going to have three for this one as well, okay? So we'll start with the angina. So um, we'll look up angina. And then because she has coronary artery disease with this angina, we will look up, um, you can do this two ways, I think. You, so let's, you can try angina um, with atherosclerotic. heart disease. So check that way. Uh, and then it'll be native vessel with angina pectoris unstable. Uh, the other way um, is it may tell you see arterial sclerosis coronary and then send you to the native vessel with angina pectoris unstable. So uh, check, I maybe when you get to atherosclerotic heart disease, um, I don't have my manual here. I left it at work. So when you get to atherosclerotic heart disease, it may send you to um, arterial sclerosis, coronary arterial sclerosis. So just kind of know that you may end up on a wild goose chase with this angina one in particular. 
Um, so then for number two, the second code, we are going to look up the um, um, I'm sorry, there are only three, there are only two codes here. Let me look at this again. Yeah, okay, so there are only going to be two codes here because this coronary artery disease code and angina code are going to be bundled into one code. Okay, so these two codes, so there's going to be two codes here. I lied. So this is going to be bundled in with this. And then the history of a um, heart attack, the history of an infarct, you're going to look up infarction or infarct. And then look up myocardium. And then uh, healed or old. I don't remember which way it says in there. Okay. So two codes for that, not three. Okay. Uh, and then lastly, case 10. is an ER note. AFib, okay. So there's gonna be one code here and you are going to look up um, fibrillation. And then, I shouldn't have put that there, atrial. Okay, so that's it for case 10. Case 10 is pretty easy. All right, so that's all I've got for the case study help. Uh, if you have questions, then uh, let me know, and we will talk about it on Thursday. See you guys.